Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with a, a new series, and this is the Hunted mod. Alright, where are we at exactly? Okay, so you'll see a blue ring around me, and that is basically my circle of protection. Which is a good thing, because there's dialogues right there. And that'll keep things from noticing me for, I think it's 60 seconds after spawning in. Now, one of the things with the Hunted mod is it's a lot more difficult in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Let me see if I can maybe... Uh, hey, okay, I leveled up. Sweet. But, uh... I'll try to get an upper pick here. You notice my stamina is actually almost gone now from just punching that tree. And a lot of that is your base stats are like half of uh, what you start off with normally. Uh, I need for some reason you have to learn the torch in Grim too, which is odd. Uh, we are going to go ahead and start making a pick. Also, crafting skill starts at 10%. Let's bump that to 20. Oh, I just bugged it, didn't I? Dang it. Whenever you upgrade your crafting skill while you're crafting, it takes a little bit to reset. Man, where the heck am I on the island here? Oh, I'm all the way over here. Oh, okay. I thought I chose South 1. Whoops. But, uh... Yeah, your stamina is halved. Uh, stamina regen is quite a bit slower than in vanilla as well. Crafting skill is at 10%, so... The very start... There we go. You see how slow that pick is crafting, and that's at 20% now. Oh, hey, you get free sand around here. Uh, well, you get free sand from rocks, actually. Picking up rocks on the ground. And that is so you can make some of the scorched earth stuff. Alright, so first step is you don't want to run if you can avoid it. Because you will not be able to run very far, and then it takes quite a while to, to regain your stamina. Uh, weight's also half. I mean, just from kind of wandering around picking up stuff, I'm... I'm already somewhat encumbered. All right. Oh, and now I'm now I'm cold. All right. So what do we got going on here? Uh, it looks like nothing on the beach. Awesome. And yeah, there's a drop over there. Not going for it. But yeah, there are uh, there are quite a few different. That's a frickin' sarco right there. Okay. Yeah. No. Not uh, hanging around there. Uh, they have quite a few differences and whatnot between everything. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. I do have lethals reusables in here. Because otherwise the spear is just pretty much worthless, especially in this mod, because the weight, the crafting time, the whole nine yards, it's just uh it's just not great. Alright, so what do I need to make that spear? Uh, I need sixteen wood and uh four flint, okay. Okay, well, I only need a four flint. I have the extra so I can make an axe as well. Which, what am I missing? I'm missing a wood now, okay. Yeah, we're playing on the island. There we go. Uh, it seems to be what the mod was relatively balanced for. Uh, it's going to take a long time to, to get done. Uh, the main point of the hunted, though, is you cannot tame dinosaurs in the way you're used to. You can't just knock them out, stuff them full of food, and call it good. Uh, what you need to do is you need to raid nests and or find, you know, curious babies wandering around. Ones that don't run away from you on sight. Alright, cool. We got our got our axe. Yeah, let's just go ahead and skin that. And I need I need like fourteen more wood, okay. There we go. Let's get our spear getting made up here. Uh, I'm gonna bump crafting skill up some more. And we're gonna learn those three things for now. Mainly, I don't have any hide. And there's a few other differences that'll pop up as we go, but uh, overall it makes Ark even more challenging, a bit more immersive. I mean, it makes sense that if you want, you know, want a tame dinosaur, you have to raise it from birth, pretty much, right? Or catch one at so young it imprints on you. Uh, mammals, you have to find babies wandering around nesting sites. Uh, because, well, obviously they don't lay eggs. And, uh, uh, let's get some pants on. And there's my spear. Now, are you going to work on that? No, you're not. Okay, so that can just go. So can the, the cartoon raptor skin. 
Uh, some other differences, you do not use narco berries to make narcotics. You have to use narco berry seeds. And azul berries actually give you some torpor, which is always fun. Do I have enough for a shirt? I do. Okay. Now, the armor is mainly just so I, you know, you see now I'm no longer cold. That's either because it's further in the day and it's warmer, or I have a little bit of insulation. But, uh, yeah, azul berries, they give you a little bit of oxygen while you're underwater, but they also give you torpidity. Uh, actually, stem berries, I probably should keep those. Because they do help you regain stamina. So, alright, where'd that sarco go? Because I want to get a little bit of water here. Alright. Oh, he's down there now. Okay. I kind of wondered if actually, besides that Sarko, this wouldn't be a good place to set up. I mean, we're blindingly bright here. Um, is that Herbie Island over there? That is, isn't it? Uh, now, dinosaur spawn strangely for the most part. Uh, like, well, there's a Sarko down here. That's obvious, right? Uh, they spawn in nesting sites or anything else, and they tend to stick around in the areas that they spawned in. They tend not to, like, wander off or whatnot. And... Uh, so, so, yeah, now I'm encumbered already. But hey, I am so encumbered I cannot move. Uh, let's see, I don't need narco berries. Um, yeah, my weight's is only 50. I need to bump that up anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and learn some of the nominal structure stuff. We got Corpse Center. We do have Immersive Taming in here. Uh, I've Basically, the only thing you can do with Immersive Taming, though, is uh, tame babies. Okay, I can kind of move now between throwing some of that stuff out. And you know what? Let's just pitch half the wood <laughs> so I can... There we go. So I can move if need be. If that Sarko comes out of the water after me, then uh, it might be a problem. Uh, another mod I have installed is Dino Hunger Meter. Both of those mods were actually rep uh, recommended by the, uh, the dev of the Hunted mod. So... Yeah, it's just one of those things like things that make sense. Uh, Dino Hunger Meter makes it so carnivores only really attack you when they're hungry, which uh, is pretty true of the Hunted, except for the fact where they also come after you if you are in their area. They're very territorial. So, different dinos have different, like, nesting grounds, hunting grounds, and so on and so forth, and I wonder if I can get to this white drop now. What's up on the hill? Mm, it's gonna be fun! Yeah, different dinos spawn in different areas, so on and so forth. Like, dilos tend to spawn on the beach, you know, some with dodos. Yeah, see, there's the dilos there. It's probably an actual dilo nest. Which means I could get some dilo eggs out. Well, you get one egg per nest as well, by the way. No more, no less. Well, maybe less, but, uh... Those are packy rhinosaurs, and even herbivores are territorial. So something else you have to watch out for. You get too close to them and they, uh, they get kind of uppity. And they, uh, yeah, they're after me. Okay. Leave into the dilos. Hi, guys. Are you running from me? You are, aren't you? That is actually kind of funny. after the dialos. They're going after the dialos. Okay, good. Because I just burned up most of my stamina doing that, so uh, Stimberry would probably be a good idea at this point. Actually, I should get those on my bar so I can actually use them better. Alright. Uh, let's have a Stimberry seed, too. Uh, seeds, I think, have a milder effect of the actual berries. Yeah, see, those packy rhinos just killed all those dialos. Or maybe not all of them. But, uh, yeah. Now, I'm hoping they go back towards their nest, because I wouldn't mind raiding all of the, the dialogue corpses. Like, yeah, <laughs> better run, little boy. Yep. Oh, oh, crap, you're coming towards me. Okay, it's dead now. Right. Uh, except for the sarcos around here, I think we're okay now. Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, grab some of this while we're here. I don't know if those packy rhinosaurs are going to go back to their home, though, or not. Uh, that one seems to be actually heading towards me. Oh, 
They're, they're killing the Sarko. Or the Sarko's going to kill them. Probably they're going to kill the Sarko, honestly. Hopefully, though. What? No, dude. Nope. Stimberry. Why are you coming after me? There's a Sarko eating your friends. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm going to die. Oh, actually, I got away from it. Okay, cool. It turned around to go help his buddies out, I guess. All right, let's get out of the water before I get I get Sarko'd, right? All right. So, level three Ingrams, right? Because I just kind of skipped through that. Uh, yeah, your basic stuff here. There are special ways of making saddles and all that, which is why I was going towards that white drop, but... Uh, oh, it's just now coming down, too. I think we're going to give that a miss for now. You can get uh, deactivated implants, like the one in your wrist, whenever uh, you raid drops and different nest nesting sites and all that stuff. And you can use those implants to make saddles with, so that way... You know, your implant links with the implant in the saddle and it gives you better control over, you know, the, the animal you're riding. Uh, let's see, how am I doing on stone? Should probably learn at least to make a campfire. And something else is, like, there's plant fiber, which actually has a spoil timer on it. That's what you get from, you know, the plants and everything else around here. Uh, food is ten times more effective as usual, or ten times as effective as usual. And each berry has a different thing. Uh, Meisho berries are a balance between hydration and food. Tinto berries are a significant amount of nutrition, small amount of hydration. Amber berries are the exact opposite. They give you more water than food. Yeah, let's eat that seed too. When berries uh, spoil, they turn into seeds, and then the seeds themselves can spoil. But Okay. I got left a present by the Sarko. And you'll notice you come up here, it says E to examine a corpse, hold E. And this is how you get hide. Now there's other things this thing has, but it says there, it requires a metal hatchet to harvest. But this is how you get hide. You can't get hide just by whacking it with a, uh, like an axe or whatever. I just got 10 hide out of it. And it takes a while to get meat out of these things. And they do give you spoiled meat as well at times too. It's not instantly spoiling when it hits my inventory. And you can see the spoil term on this is like three hours. Now, downside is... Let me toss that out. Normally, the meat weighs one pound per piece. Uh, I undid that because in playtesting of this mod, I had a couple nasty surprises where you would hit it, a corpse, and for whatever reason, it would kind of explode. Oh, I need a metal hatchet to get the... Uh, you can harvest venom out of the uh, Dilophosaurus, but apparently you need a metal hatchet for that. But hey, we got some hide. Now, I'm assuming all the Dilos are dead. I'm not sure where that Sarko ended up at, though. It might have run away. But, uh... I need to find the nest. I don't need to. I want to. I want to find the nest. And height is dependent upon things like level of the dinosaur and so on and so forth, too, so... And I'm encumbered. By the way, hide is actually extremely heavy as well. Um, let's go ahead and learn those. I'm now out of Ingram points yet again, but... Oh, you can get sinew fiber from corpses as well, which is just another type of fiber. Now I need three more fiber to make gloves. So let's kind of hobble our way over here and... Okay. Headshot with a spear. Works great. <laughs> just saw a Dilo come charging out of the bushes at me. Okay, I am encumbered yet again. Uh, we made booties. Let's make some of gloves now. And, like, let's get rid of those and those. Oh, come on! I was holding right-click, but since I was holding it, I died. Right as I came out of my menu, it the game's just like, mm, no, you don't get to charge your spear up. 
All right, well, I mean, it took it down, and then basically I died to the poison. So, oh, hey, cool, right next to where I died. That's, that doesn't happen very often. Can I, uh, can I have some stuff, please? No, actually, don't do that, because it's going to equip it onto my corpse, and that's just annoying. Um, did I not get the gloves? Ugh, you jerk. Well, as you kill me, you interrupted the crafting. Or you killed me while I was crafting, I should say. And that, uh, basically made all the items disappear. Oh, and there's another dialogue over there. There's two more. Oh, nice. They didn't all die. And I am in their, like, their nesting area right now. Now, right now, they can't really see me. But, uh, oh, there's theories behind them. Oh. Theories are terrifying. Oh, yeah, you better turn away. Like, my little disruption field just shut down, and they're just like, hmm, I think I'll walk this way. And now the theories are kicking Dilo butt. Okay. So, let's, uh,. See, I was hoping to actually kind of set up in that field right there because it just looks nice and it's close to a lot of things. But, uh, yeah, not with some Therizinosaurs right there. And power levels uh, with this mod installed are uh, very different than what you might r expect. Right, Packy Rhinos are actually a terrifying force of nature. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more into that. Uh, let's see, we're at level 6. Might as well learn that because it's free. Ember nest, though. This is how I'll hatch eggs up, but I need spark powder for that first. Um, maggot bandages. This is one of the ways to heal. Oh, by the way, healing is extremely, extremely slow. Oh, now the theory's on the beach. All right, can we, like, get over this way a bit? Herbivores do tend to tolerate each other, though. So, I mean, that's a plus, but... They have no tolerance for, uh, for carnivores, and that includes humans. Okay. Uh, let's toss that out. I don't need that implant. Uh, I still need gloves, though. Figure I might as well make them up. If nothing else, I'll use up some of the hide in my inventory for a good purpose, and it'll reduce the weight significantly. But you can see here, 12 pieces of hide weighs 7.2. So each piece of hide weighs 0.6 each. All right, cool. We got gloves. Let's go ahead and get those on. And... Now, I have had some issues with the hunted in the past. Uh, odd crashes, whatnot. Basically, some things can happen in the world that make... Okay, that didn't work out. Uh, make it the, uh, the whole setup just, like, unplayable for the most part, which is a bit of a shame. How did I get up there before? Was it right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's a theory. Um, I'm not really seeing any other theories around, though. Sometimes they will spawn just by themselves, so... Kind of hoping that's the case, and I'm not walking into a, a nesting ground of therizinosaurs that are going to be extremely irate at my presence. And now odds are that uh, if I get charged by a dino at this point, unless it's like a dilo, I'm going to die. Oh, explorer note. Hell yeah, I'll take that. It's a rock wall record. All right. And grab. Okay. Let's get out of there. Did see some spark powder in there. I also saw a bed, so I should probably get something resembling a bit of a base setup, and at least that way I'll be able to, uh, you know, pick where I respawn. All right, something else I got though too, which I don't think I can do anything with it yet is I got a, a deactivated Zeta implant. And now uh, you reactivate those with uh, with blood packs. 
which seems you only start with 50 health. It's a significant outlay of health to uh, attack to a saddle. It puts you down into the broken leg status, you know, where you can't, you know, can't run, can barely move, you know, so on and so forth, right? Um, let's just keep going this way. So yeah, those poor dialects, man, between the Pachyrhinosaurs and the Therry. I think their whole clan got wiped out. And... Something has already respawned to move in here. Is that a micro raptor? That is, isn't it? That is actually kind of sort of terrifying. Um, let's get a little more weight. That way I can carry stuff without getting bogged down. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and... Can I... In, oh, I'm like two levels away from bolas. That's what I wanted. But, uh, yeah, there's this thing here, the uh, deactivated Zeta implant. I also got a standing torch. That's going to come in handy later, actually. Now, all the nests in the uh, the mod, they kind of look a little different. Like, you'll notice... Uh oh, yeah, that's definitely a Microraptor. That tree wasn't there earlier. That tree is the Microraptor nest. Which is really odd that he's not coming after me. Pachyrhinosaurus down there. There's an Iguanodon. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the mated parents, basically, will spawn at levels up, up to 250. Uh, we're playing on normal difficulty, so... Normal creatures only spawn up to 150. Okay, it looks like it didn't come after me. Good. And the fact that those guys can spawn in at 100 levels above that, or up to 100 levels above that, is quite frankly a little on the terrifying side. Alright, now where'd that Therizinosaur go? Alright, um... Now, dialo nests are, are hard to find anyway. Have I... I have not gotten your hide yet. I can finally drag your corpse around, though. That's kind of cool. I'm going to get three to hide off of that one. Uh, where did that thing go? There it is. Okay. So, I would have to say the nest is probably around here somewhere. And dialo nests, they kind of look like a... Uh, like a tiny tree root sticking out of the ground with some plant matter around it. I mean, they're they're definitely not uh, very noticeable. Uh, that's a dialo body. It's another dialo body, and another dialo body. Uh, let's see, level forty-five, level twenty, forty. Okay. Yeah, kind of the problem is right now I can also only make thatch. And uh, yeah, thatch is easily destroyed by everything. And uh, yeah, watch the nest be under this thing's body, right? Okay, but I need to definitely get some sort of a base situation set up here. Somewhere. I was just hoping to take a dialo egg with me. But, uh, it may not be in the cards. Because I cannot find. Uh, if there is a nest, there's not always a nest. Sometimes, you know, you'll just get a pack of them spawning in and, and there won't be anything. Oh, crap. Kentros, they are. They have little man syndrome. <laughs> they really do. They're about as bad as the Pachyrhinosaurs. So, and I don't dare go in the water because, well, we've seen Sarcos, right? We know they're around here. Uh, yeah, no, I have no idea if it's in the area or not. And the more time I spend here, the more daylight is burning. 
and uh, nighttime sucks, especially the first night. All right, is there anything I can craft? Can I make? What am I missing for a campfire? I need stone. Okay. I should probably throw all the sand away because I don't really need sand right now. I should probably, I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll keep it. So you can use it to make boomerangs with. Okay, I think that should be enough stone to make a campfire anyway. All right, so five levels into wait now. We are level eight. I can make a canoe though. 75 hide's gonna take a while to gather. Hell, all that's gonna take a while to gather up. It's an idea though. Okay, we do have a campfire now. Um, and I should go ahead and learn a pickup gun too. Go ahead and get that lit. Pop that in. I'm just gonna toss that out. And yeah, I don't need 25 pounds of sand. All right. So, I'm going to have to learn thatch stuff eventually anyway. Let's go ahead and learn the ember nest first, just to make sure I have it available anyway. Foundation, walls, door frame, door, ceiling. Cool. Ah! What the? Did I just get bitch slapped by a micro raptor? I think I did. I think he ran up, bit me, and ran off. What a little jerk. Alright, let's get some actual food on the bar now. You know what? Actually, no, I guess this isn't a nest. This is an actual tree. It might have just been destroyed by the packy rhinos, which is why I didn't notice it. Oh, well. Hmm. But yeah, like a Microraptor nest looks a lot like this, and it's, I think it's hollowed out here with a nest in it. But the thing is, with the nest structures, you can usually just like walk right through them without a problem. It's a shame. I was actually kind of looking forward to having a Microraptor nest, too. The eggs will last for 24 hours in the nest, by the way. Did you already burn out? Wow. Here, just have all that, would you? Let's go ahead and grab some more thatch. There we go. All thatched up, and I leveled up as well. Which, uh, let's get into a little bit of health, because I am going to need that if I do start doing blood packs. Uh, let's get... The only difference is the cooldown between the two of them. And there went everything. Dang it. I'm going to have to level up again so I can learn how to make a bola. Got 35 seconds of you know 4x XP right now. I'm just watching my XP gauge right now. And I'm tired now. Yeah, I've already run out of stamina doing this. Hey, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go more hit points. And bola. I could learn boomerang too, but here we go. Saddle crafting kit, level 10. And basic saddle requires a reactivated Zayd implant. You can reactivate it in the, the crafting kit. And then after you craft a basic saddle, you can turn it into any, I think there's like six to choose from. But any of the, any of the basic saddles. So... All right, so yeah, let's put this into there for now, I think. And can I get a bola? No, I'm missing stone, okay. Okay, I should have enough stone now. 
I love when it was that easy to, to get it taken care of. Yeah, each color drop has a different t uh, yeah, tier of a uh, implant. So white is your, your Zeta tier, green is Epsilon, blue I believe is Delta, is it? No, blue is Gamma, purple is Delta, like that one there. Yellow is Beta, red is Alpha. The first two tiers require human blood to reactivate. After that, you need Apex drops to activate a pendant. Uh, I don't need seeds. Alright. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, they actually look like little, little seed packets. Alright, well, I haven't learned a boomerang yet. You know, I'm just going to toss all the sand. Because it's not that hard to get more. And it is relatively heavy. So. Oh, there's a coelacanth down there. Couple of them. Get a little bit of experience anyway. And you can get prime fish meat off of any fish, so something to remember. And fish and prime fish, you don't actually have to cook for you eat. Everything else you definitely do. But uh, not so much in the, you know with those. All right. So where did that little micro after bugger go? No idea. But let's go ahead and grab all this stuff and head out. Um, let's go ahead and eat some meat. That'll give me a little bit of a regen effect, but not much. Freaking packy rhinos down the beach now. Iguanodons are very territorial as well. Uh, like parasaurs, for the most part, aren't. I'm pretty sure... I know I can bola a Iguanodon. I'm fairly certain I can't bola a packy rhinosaur. And why are you all the way over... Why is everybody... Is there another nest over here now? Is that what happened? Oh, and they... They get angry from a good distance away. I'm probably still too close. They can still still become rather pissy with me in a short amount of time. Um, man, so how much hide do I have? Nine. One thing I did remember is I need seventy-five hide to make a canoe. <laughs> it's like I am nowhere near that. Fibers, you know, thatch, wood. I can get all that around here. Hide is a bit of a different story. Now, if they're down this way, what about the packy rhinos over this way? Are they still around? Alright, well, we have dead dilos everywhere, and like I said, the spoil time on the corpses is like three hours. So. Oh, and it's raining. Well, at least my water's gonna stay full. Well, there's that uh, Therizinosaur, and there's a Pachy Rhinosaur. There's the Sarco. Okay. Um, can I get up here? I can. All right, well, the odds that Packy Rhinosaur is going to come after me eventually, though. Or can get up here, too. And there's Kentros. They are little jerks, man. They will pick you up without a hes second's hesitation and just haul you around. I'm not even sure where to go at this point. Kind of surrounded by badness, which is, you know, honestly not ideal.
Once I get a metal hatchet, that Sarko's got uh, Sarko skin on it that I can harvest and use that to activate implants. But, uh, yeah. A little ways away from metal tools. Oh, and there's that fairy. It's over here now, too. And light just changed. Great. Um, my stamina is taking forever to refill. Like, what's my health at? Yeah, not great. Uh, I've got four ingram points. I could learn how to make a maggot bandage. It's charcoal, though. Charcoal hide and spoiled meat. Yeah, I'm just one meander meandering, you know, herbivore away from, like, instant death at this point. Looks like only one packy rhinosaur, though, made it out of that, uh, sarcophyte. Alright, so... It's like, where exactly do I go from here? I could get a little bit of hide from a couple of the dialos I haven't harvested yet, but uh, not looking great. And now I'm cold. Am I just going to have to set up shop here because I can't go either way? <laughs> Probably. Probably is what's going to happen. So, what can I make? Uh, nothing right now. I need fiber, mainly. Okay. That's probably one of the easier ones to get. Uh, stripping bushes doesn't actually take any stamina, so... I could do this all day long at this point. Hmm. One mod that I probably should have added in is actually Primordial Decor. I think I'll do that after this episode. Because it just kind of fits in, especially with the whole early game of this. It really fits in. Alright. Yeah, speaking of which, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, but I did get a bit of a rundown done. So hopefully I got the, the general idea of the mod across. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out, have fun.